social media marketing. What is the best way to save time, make it easier, and have it be more effective? Well, use the right tools. I'm going to share two of my favorites and you'll see which one is best for you. So if you want to up your social media game, sunshine, stick around. We all love shortcuts. And while there is no shortcut to success, you have to put in the time and the work. I'm a very big believer in leveraging, in scaling, in using tools that help us get the work done easier and faster when possible. I'm a big fan of systemizing social media management so that uh, even when I work on my own social media, I have a, a calendar that I follow so that there's something I do once a month. There are things I do once a week, and then there are things that I do each day so that when I log on to social media, I don't stare at a blank screen and wonder what to do. I just follow the steps. Now, of course, it's all personalized. I have to think. I have to be strategic. But when I have a system, it makes it so much easier. Now, I will link below so that if you want to grab that system, that template, so that you can make your social media easier, feel free to grab that. But within that, within the system, weekly, monthly, daily, I and my team at Ghost Tweeting, we are using a social media tool that helps make it all go smoother. At Ghost Tweeting, we do social media management for a lot of clients. And so over the years, we've tested out many different schedulers and apps and tools to help us manage the social media in a more organized way to save our uh, account managers time to make sure we get the work done most effectively. And so today, I'm going to share with you two of the ones that we've been using for the last few years and tell you the pros and cons so that you can decide if one of these is perfect for you. We're going to be talking about Hootsuite, and Post Planner. Hootsuite really is the biggie in the industry. Almost everyone who does social media, manages their own social media, has heard of Hootsuite. Post Planner is a little newer, although it's been around for, for years now. Uh, and I want to tell you the differences and why you may prefer one over the other. So let's dive right in and I'm going to show you what they look like and how they work. Let's first talk about what platforms you can schedule on using each of these tools. On Hootsuite, you can schedule on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. You can actually schedule also on YouTube and Pinterest, but we're gonna talk right now about the big four. So on Hootsuite, you can schedule for all of those. And on Post Planner, you can only schedule for Facebook and Twitter. So right now, as of this recording, Post Planner allows you connect to connect your Facebook pages and your Twitter accounts. And you can connect as many as you would like, although with Facebook, you need to connect through one page manager. So if you as a page manager manage several pages, you can connect to all of those pages and schedule on all of them on Post Planner. Content curation. What is content cur curation? Content curation is researching good content for you. So instead of coming up with your own posts, instead of having to write your own posts, you do some research and you find content that you'd like to share with your audience. On Hootsuite, you can create streams, different streams by hashtag, location, or keyword to find the compelling content that you'd like to share with your audience. On Post Planner, they have a recommendation engine is what they call it. They analyze content across the web to identify top performing content that will resonate with your audience. They also have what they call a five star rating system, which they say makes it easy to predict which of these posts will do the best, get the best engagement for your page. Personally, I think that really has a lot to do with your page. So they are saying this has been the most engaged content. So ideally, if your audience is exactly the same, you have the same exact niche and people who are almost exactly the same as the people who have responded to those posts that they've rated, then you'll likely get the same results. But you may have a page with a slightly different audience or a lot less likes on your page. So take that with a grain of salt. They're showing you content that has done very well. And so they recommend that you should use it for your page. With Post Planner, you can search your own keywords as well. You can search the database to add any Facebook page, any Twitter account, any Instagram hashtag, and they will show content related to what you're looking for. And then you could just look in those folders on Post Planner, grab the content that you have found and, and schedule it to appear on your pages. Scheduling. Now we're talking about scheduling. So obviously Hootsuite and Post Planner both do scheduling. Hootsuite, you can choose a specific time. So I want this to go out 
next Wednesday at 12.35 p.m. So I can write the post, put it in, or find some scheduled content that I want to share from someone else, uh, put it in my account, schedule it for a very specific time, and there it sits until it's ready to go out. You, They also have auto-scheduling, although it, that is only available in the higher level plans, and we'll talk about pricing and levels in a bit. Um, but auto-scheduling is, instead of having to put a post in and then think about what specific day or time you want, you can tell Hootsuite that you would like posts to go out between 10 a.m. and 2 o'clock p.m. on certain days and just put posts in and it will schedule the next one to go out at what they think is an appropriate time during the, the parameters that you've given it. On Post Planner, you can also set a specific time, like I want this to go out tomorrow morning at 9.32. And the other thing that Post Planner does, which is a little different, is you can pre-plan a specific weekly schedule or daily schedule. For example, you can say, I would like posts to go out every Monday at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., every Tuesday at noon, every Wednesday at this time, or three times or 20 times, and give Post Planner the specific plan you want. Then when you put posts in, it will take your post and just add it to your pool. So it will go out in the next scheduled time that you have previously scheduled. So if you have 10 posts in your pool and you add another post, it goes at the bottom as the 11th post, and it will follow the plan that you have scheduled ahead of time. Another thing that's interesting is you may think that maybe you want only videos to go out in the mornings. So you could tell it when you schedule for 10 a.m., only have video posts go out. If you want links to only go out on Fridays, you can tell it, well, on Fridays, I only want links. So you can decide ahead of time you want videos, links, um, or just text or pictures to go out at different times um, specifically, and they will follow the schedule that you have created ahead of time. Recycling. This is very important to a lot of people because when you put a lot of time into creating content and it's important, valuable content, you may want it to go out more than once. Now, with guidelines on social media, you can't have posts repeating all the time. It, it is against the guidelines. But there are certain posts that are perfectly fine and good to go out, let's say, every other week or, or every week at different times. With Hootsuite, you cannot recycle. In other words, you put a post in, you schedule it for a certain time, and then it goes out at that time and it disappears. With Post Planner, you can tell Post Planner, after this goes out, I want you to put it back on the bottom of my schedule. So again, like I said, if you have 10 posts, or for, for me when I'm scheduling for myself or for our clients, we may have 100 posts in there to go out for the next month. And once something goes out, we want it to go back on the bottom so that next month it could be in the feed as well. Engagement. Now, we're talking about scheduling platforms, but engagement is very necessary. Without outreach and engagement and having conversations and talking back and forth with people, you're not going to grow. You're not going to grow just from scheduling broadcasts and letting it go. So I would suggest that you log on every day to do some engagement with your followers and your prospects. With Hootsuite, you can monitor topics and keywords or specific people that matter to you and you can respond right on Hootsuite. So not only are you can you search for content and then share it, but you can comment, you can like posts, you can do that directly on Hootsuite. On Post Planner, you cannot. Post Planner really is strictly a scheduling platform. You can curate research content and schedule it to go out, but you can't engage with other people on the platform. Collaboration. Sometimes you have people on your team that you want help with, other team members, or you need to get approval on certain posts. With Hootsuite, you can have team members. It is an additional charge, but you absolutely can have other people logging in to look at the posts, to edit the posts. You can give them access to certain accounts and have them collaborate with you. On Post Planner, you can do that as well, and depending on the level of service that you have, you can have a certain amount of people or team members that can log on and, again, give them access only to certain accounts. Maybe you want someone to collaborate with you and help you out with your Facebook posts, but you don't want them to have access to your Twitter, so you can do that on Post Planner. Analytics. Of course, you want to measure to see what's working, and on Hootsuite, you can get basic analytics with their lower price or their free plan all the way through enhanced analytics metrics that really show you what's going on with your account, what's working, what's getting engagement, what is not. And then, of course, you can tweak to improve. On Post Planner, 
the analytics are pretty basic and there are no other types of analytics, analytics you can get. You're basically getting the same type of analytics through Post Planner that you can get directly on Facebook or Twitter if you're logged in, but it's great to have it in one place. While you're scheduling, you can look at your analytics to see what has worked in the past. Now let's talk about cost. Hootsuite does offer a free option, and what that free option allows you is three social media platforms. So you may have a, a Twitter, a Facebook, and a LinkedIn account. And with their free program, their free level, you can have those three accounts on there. Now, you can't have any team members with you, but three accounts um, that you can log on and pretty much get all of the um, other tools and features that we talked about. You don't get the advanced analytics, but you are able to create streams to curate content, to look for specific people or specific conversations that you can join in and engage with. Um, that's all available in the free plan. And then they have great options for going up to, um, if you have 10 accounts, if you want three team members, et cetera, et cetera. It go goes all the way up from there. Post Planner starts at $3 a month. And their starter plan gets you three accounts, 30 posts per day you can schedule, and you can have maximum 300 posts planned for the future. There are no other team members involved, so this is your starter account for you to work on three of your own uh, accounts. So those are the basic differences between Hootsuite and Post Planner, and really it comes down to what your needs are and what your goals are and what you want to get out of the platforms. They're both terrific for different reasons. I uh, am someone who doesn't like either or, so I use both. But you don't have to be so extra. Choose one that is perfect for you. My personal opinion on both, Hootsuite I think has uh, some more features other than just scheduling. So if you are looking for more than just scheduling, look into Hootsuite. Um, their prices, if you're going to have more than three platforms, do go up. And in my opinion, they've gone they've gotten more, not in my opinion, they've gotten more expensive over the years and that's perfectly fine. Of course, they should charge whatever they want to charge um, and whatever they can get. But as a client of theirs for the past eight years and my company uses them and we keep adding more and more accounts with Hootsuite um, and they really haven't rewarded us for being a long-term customer. So that's something I wish they would do. Post Planner, I believe is reasonably priced for what you get. If you need more than Twitter and Facebook, then you can't use it right now. But but it does some great things. One of the things that's important to me and important to our clients is that recycling. So I happen to like that we can recycle. As far as customer service, I have seen uh, with Hootsuite because they're giant, you're not usually going to get to talk to someone who personally takes responsibility for any issues you may have. Uh, with Post Planner, you often can get in touch with someone who is going to care and make sure that your issues are resolved. Other than that, it really is an opinion and what you need. What are your goals? Look into both and choose the best one for you. If you have any other questions about these tools, feel free to put it in the comments and I will answer you as best I can. So I hope that was helpful and I hope you were able to choose a schedule that will work best for you and your needs. If you'd like to see more reviews and tips and tricks for upping your game on social media, make sure you click the subscribe button right over there so that I see you next time. I will be reviewing more of these online tools to help you Get your social media out there in a bigger way and do it in a much easier and faster way. I hope to see you next time on Shine.